Hello, and welcome to Real Illusion Hints and Tips. I clone clone cloth editing techniques, creating multiple skirt links and styles for G2 clone cloth avatars using various maps. G2 clone cloth characters have the amazing ability to have opacity maps define the visible and the invisible areas of the outer mesh garment layer. Black areas on the opacity file equal 100% invisible, and 100% white areas equal 100% visible portions of the clone cloth. This being the rule allows users to create many different styles, cuts, links, and so on. You can design as many different opacity styles as you like, giving your custom character outfits to apply to your avatar, even only when using a single G2 clone cloth character. Also, applying diffuse, bump, glow, and reflection maps to create various styles is covered, giving you the user the ability to create any design element for your garments through the use of additional map templates. Choosing the best motion for your custom map sets is also covered in this tutorial for the best possible outcome for your next iClone project. So let's go ahead and get started now. Step number one, using a Generation 2 or G2 character in this tutorial allows you to apply the upper body default Jane avatar template and then apply the Jane clone gown lower body. These can be found in the avatar section under the upper body and lower body menus in the template tab. Double click to apply to your avatar. Step number two. While still in the lower body menu, click on the modify tab and then scroll down to activate the diffuse map templates by selecting the launch button under the diffuse section. This will launch a color coded UV reference that is used for a guide for creating clone cloth. Step number three. After clicking the launch button to open your external image editor such as Photoshop or PaintShop Pro, working with the template you can isolate the lower six sections of the front and of the back as well. These are the areas that are to be made invisible. You need to fill that area with solid black and then the remainder solid white to leave the visible skirt as the upper five sections at 100%. Step number four. When using Photoshop, you will need to go to File, Save As, and then name your file iClone Lower Texture Underscore Opacity 01. Make sure you have the JPEG file format selected, and then select the Save button, and click OK. Step number five. After saving, return to iClone and locate the Import Opacity folder icon under the Opacity portion of the menu. Click to activate and then open the newly edited map file by clicking and then selecting Open. This will apply the first custom skirt link to the G2 clone cloth lower body to expose the avatar's feet. Step number six. Save the edited clone cloth lower body. Go to Custom tab and then select the add button from the bottom. Name the asset length one as we will demonstrate how to make various skirt styles. Step number seven. For the next opacity map you will again be using your external image editor for creating lines as uneven lines. The lines must meet at the two points where the seams intersect. These are the highest dotted lines on the template. The dotted line is at the mid-thigh range, which is also a great reference point for creating miniskirts. Change the black area to cover portions of the same upper 12 sections of the front and back sides. Step number 8. Go to File, Save As, and then name your file iClone Lower Texture Opacity 02. This will create the second custom skirt length and style. Don't forget to select the JPEG format and then select the Save button. Step number nine, switch back to iClone and then click the Modify tab. Locate the Import Opacity folder icon, click to activate the open window, and then navigate to your new iClone Lower Texture Opacity 02 file and click the Open button. This will apply the next custom skirt link to the G2 clone cloth lower body and expose the avatar's legs up to the mid-thigh. You will notice that the ripped style design 
has been cut into your clone cloth. This is a great technique for creating such assets as grass skirts. Step number 10. Notice that your avatar's legs are exposed from the mid-thigh down. Save your new lower one more time. Go to the custom tab and use the add button from the bottom and name your new custom clone cloth lower as length 02 to signify that this is the second in your set. Creating transparent clone cloth using opacity maps. Step number 11. Return to your image editor and use the template that you have open to create a new opacity map that will contain a white and gray gradient on the solid white area. Make sure that the white area is at the top of your file to create a transparent fade from top to bottom. An easy way to accomplish this in Photoshop is to use a simple gradient overlay. Step number 12, go to File, Save As, and then name your file iClone Lower Texture Opacity Gradient. Make sure that you have the JPEG format selected and then select the Save button and click OK. Step 13. After saving, return to iClone and locate the Import Opacity folder. Click to activate the open window and then navigate to your iClone Lower Opacity Gradient. Double click to apply. This will apply a transparent skirt style to the G2 clone cloth lower body. Applying diffuse, bump, reflection, and glow maps to add additional effects and designs. Step number 14. Now you have successfully created different skirt links and styles for the G2 clone cloth character. Add further graphic design and color with a diffuse map. Use the template file that you already have open to create a custom design and then save as a JPEG. Return to your external image editor and do so. Step number 15. After saving, return to iClone and locate the Import Diffuse folder icon under the Diffuse portion of the menu. Click to activate the open window and then navigate to your iClone Lower Texture Diffuse file. This will apply your new diffuse map to the clone cloth lower body, giving the clone cloth a realistic look save under the lower body custom tab. Step number 16. Return to your external image editor and locate the template that you have open to create a black and white design for your bump map. A bump map is a map layer that gives your model the illusion of depth and dimension without actually having it modeled into the mesh itself. Create this file and then save as a JPEG as you have with your diffuse and opacity files. Use a file name iClone Lower Skirt Bump. Step number 17. Return to iClone and locate the Import Bump folder icon under the Bump portion of the menu. Click to activate the open window and then navigate to the folder where you have the iClone Lower Skirt Bump file saved and then select the Open button. This will apply your new bump map to the G2 Clone Cloth lower body giving the clone cloth an effect of depth and dimension. To get a clear view of your new bump map, it sometimes helps to apply a solid color diffuse map. Step number 18. Again, return to your external image editor and use the template you have open to create a black and green design for your glow map. A glow map is a layer that gives your model the illusion of a glowing fabric and luminosity. Create this effect by covering all the solid white areas in your opacity file with a lime green color. A color overlay in Photoshop is the easiest way to do this. Then, again save as a JPEG with a file named iClone Lower Texture Underscore Glow. Step number 19. Return to iClone and locate the Import Glow folder icon under the Glow portion of the menu. Click to activate the open window and then navigate to the folder where your iClone Lower Texture Underscore Glow file is saved. Then select the open button giving the clone cloth a glowing effect and the illusion of a fluorescent fabric. Save under the lower body custom tab. Step number 20. Remove your glow map by using the trash can icon located under the glow portion of the menu and then 
click the launch button under the reflection section. This will launch the reflection template file in your external editor for further custom editing. Step 21 in your external image editor, use the template to create a black, white, and gray design for your reflection map. A reflection map is a map layer that gives your model the illusion of reflecting light in a scene. Create this effect in Photoshop with a pattern overlay. This is the easiest way to accomplish this with speed and efficiency. Then again, save as a JPEG with the file named iClone Lower Texture underscore Reflect. Step number 22. Return to iClone and locate the Import Reflection icon under the Reflection portion of the menu and click to activate the open window. And then navigate to the folder where your iClone Lower Texture Reflect file has been saved and then select the open button. This will apply your new reflection map to your G2 clone cloth lower body, giving the clone cloth a reflection property and the illusion of refracted light. Save under the lower body custom tab once again. Choosing motions that work best with clone cloth. Step number 23. Load the regular diffuse map asset to your clone cloth avatar and then go to animation motion template female and then choose the Jane catwalk some walk cycles are designed for use with clone cloth specifically for the best possible animated outcome use the play pause button to review the motion using clone cloth and opacity maps to define many different types of clothing shapes and styles can be very rewarding requiring users to only have one G2 clone cloth avatar while providing them with endless custom garment generation capabilities. With the implementation of diffuse, bump, glow, and reflection maps, your creations are as limitless as your imagination. Clone cloth clothing design can trim up production time as well as stock character clothing content libraries with speed and efficiency. For more information, please visit www.realillusion.com or contact technical support.